Can I get a yeehaw? <laughs> Hello, my name is Pauline and I do things. And today I will be showing you how I made this bandana top. It's all hand sewing, easy peasy. Okay, let's get into it, my dudes. Step one is ironing the bandana. Whenever you get a bandana, they're usually folded in four, so they have lots of creases all over, everywhere. And we want to get it nice and smooth. So I first ironed it out flat and then I folded it into a triangle because that's how the top is going to lay. Then came the fancy ironing part. I went to the tippy top of the triangle and I folded the point over where the bandana print starts because we don't want to cut off the print. You know, we still want to keep all of the print in, but we need this fold here. Iron that out. This will help with the sewing process. It'll be much easier. I repeated the same system on the other two corners of the triangle as well. And then I brought it up to my little table as always. And I placed the string that I am using for the straps within the folded area. I don't know other words to use. <laughs> and I pinned it down so I knew where to stitch. And when you're stitching here, make sure that you're not stitching into the string, ribbon, rope, whatever you're using for the straps or else the straps won't slidey slide and we want this to be nice and adjustable. Then after I did that and sewed it, I actually ended up back stitching just because it is a shirt. It is gonna have some, you know, pull on it and I wanted it to be nice and sturdy at that seam or all the seams technically, so I backstitched it, and then I went ahead and repeated the same process on the other two corners of the top. Then I strung my rope through nice and easy on all three corners, made sure to fray check the end of the rope. You can use fire if you're brave, but to me, fire bad. So I just use good old fashioned fray check. You can use clear nail polish. You could use hot glue. The options are really endless. And there, voila, we have the bandana top. You just tie in a little bow in the back and you're good. I know that right now silk scarves as tops is fashionable. You could easily do this with a silk scarf and run ribbon through it instead of rope. You know, it would be much fancier. High fashion, super classy vibes. It's fully adjustable. You know, you can kind of make this to fit anybody and for an added difficulty. I didn't do this because I didn't need it, obviously, but you can add bra cups into this, which you can get at Joanne Fabrics or you can steal them out of a swimsuit. It's up to you. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any questions you have. I'm glad to help. And subscribe so you don't miss my next cooking, crafting, DIY, whatever I feel like doing video, because I do things. <laughs> and if you make this top yourself and post it on Instagram, you can tag me at Pauline Does Things and I will shower you in emojis. And if you'd like to see my mini minute daily vlogs on TikTok, I'm at Pauline Makes TikToks. How easy is that to remember? But yeah, I think that's all for today's video. A nice, easy, quick, fun, fashionable video. I will see you next week with something. I think it's cooking. I think we're cooking next week. Okay, bye. Ma'am, yeehaw.